The story of the starfish goes something like this. One day, a man was walking along the beach when he noticed a boy picking something up and gently throwing it into the ocean. Approaching the boy, he asked, What are you doing? The youth replied, Throwing starfish back into the ocean. The surf is up and the tide is going out. If I don't throw them back, they'll die. Son, the man said, Don't you realize that there are miles and miles of beaches and hundreds of starfish? You cannot make a difference. After listening politely, the boy bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw it back into the surf. Then, smiling at the man, he said, I made a difference for that one. There's a great deal we can learn from this story, but one of the most important things to realize from the story is the importance of saving the one. The Bible speaks about Jesus and the lost sheep. He did everything within his power to get back that one sheep. So much so, he left the 99 that were there. Jesus always saw a need in the lesser of society, but more so, he exemplified what it meant to love and love completely. All this was most displayed when the Son of God said these words, Let the little children come to me. With these words, I would say he showed us the blessing of children, but more so the importance of our youth. Children are one of the world's most valuable resources and its best hope for a better future. We must each take time to teach them well and lead the way for a better tomorrow. We must look at their strengths and see their potential and look at their flaws and give them hope. A child that learns to believe in themselves is a child that is unstoppable. I sometimes remember my own experiences at VBS as a child, and those are things that have always stuck with me. It was a place that introduced me to a good God. A God that not only wants to know us, but wants to be our friend. He wants to give us hope and a bright future. Children may forget what you said, but they will never forget how you make them feel. Let us make it our duty to make them feel loved, accepted, welcomed, and let us lead them in the light of Christ. It takes a community to raise a child, and it will take our group efforts to secure a safer future. With God, all things are possible, and we continue to pray for a generation that will be completely sold out and dedicated to God, and will return to the love of our forefathers. God is good, He is gracious, and He wants to do great things. So let's run with perseverance and be the heroes our kids need. At the end of the day, their feet may be dirty, but their eyes will be sparkling, and this is how we know change will happen.